What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video and today I bring you Zer's loot location for the uh, 9th of May 2017. Let's quickly look at the date there on my PC because I forgot the date. Uh, but he's located within the Vanguard room within the tower so he's spawned into the tower. Head to the Vanguard room and you'll find him here on your right. How you doing there buddy? Um, so let's check out what he has uh, this week. Okay, so here's brought a special legacy engram. So you purchase this if you want them year one special weapons. Um, it'll cost you 31 strange coins. Do not purchase this expecting to get a year two or year three, so to speak, weapon because that just ain't going to happen. Year one strictly here. Okay, for the Titan, we have the Imperium Bellicose, or however the how you pronounce that thing. Dropping at a 350 defense, costing you 13 strange coins. Um, a total of 101 uh, strength intellect here. Uh, you need 108 minimum to be tier 12 compact. So yeah, you could always reroll this though, which we'll talk about in a second. Aiming weapons while airborne holds you in place with full super, orbs, recharge, melee. Okay, for the hunter, we have the crest of Alpha Loopy. Again, 350 defense and 13 strange coins. A total here of about, uh, is that 137 right there? You need, I think, yes, you need 144 minimum to be tier 12 compat. But again, you can always reroll this. This one offering intellect discipline. Uh, supers generate an extra orb and revive and be revived faster. For the warlock, we have the stag. Uh, 350 defense, 13 strange coins, offering intellect discipline. Uh, this is one or three or together in total, intellect discipline. Um, how many? It's 108 minimum. Uh, once per life, fast supercharge when all teammates die, and chance to spawn with overshield. So, I suppose it ain't a bad helmet for trials of Osiris or elimination, but that's about it in my opinion. Weapon of the week, we have the Telesto, which is a beast for PvE if you have never used it before. When you get them Void Knight uh, Fools, it's a monster, or Void Strikes, Heroic Strikes, Weeklies. It's pretty fun to use. Uh, this will cost you for, uh, 17 strange coins, so not 13, 17 strange coins. Definitely worth your time picking up if you do have the strange coins spare. Okay, exotic weapon bundles this week. We have the Red Death and White Witch, which I'll show you guys on screen now. And we have the Monte Carlo and Super Spy, which I'll also show you guys on screen now. These will cost you 30 strange coins and 25 silver dust. Now I do want to talk about the glass needles because obviously we've got these here as well which we already always have each week. But these uh, are definitely worth it. If you don't use glass needles I don't understand why. See a lot of people complaining about Azur's loot um, and when he brings it it's always got shit stat rolls. But you can always re-roll it and it's actually easy to do so. I'm going to buy a few of these. I'm going to re-roll my helmet for my hunter and I'll show you guys how, how easy it is to actually get a better stat roll. So you can see my... Um, yes, Knucklehead Radar here, which is probably my favourite PvP helmet for the Hunter. I just, I love Radar on screen while I'm aiming my primary, it just helps me out a ton. Here you can see Intellect Discipline works out to 100 in total, you need 108 minimum for tier 12 compat, or a max of 111, so what we're going to do is we're going to reroll this until we get um, a higher stat thingy, and the best thing is as well, it actually doesn't take away the upgrade you've already applied to the helmet, which is half decent and not many people know about so yes we'll reroll this it might come out worse but we can just keep doing it and as you can see it only costs 25 um or well, 250 glimmer 10 uh, armor materials and one glass needle so yeah it isn't too bad and what do we get here you have to actually back out and check it again so we got there higher there we go i got 105 there straight away but that's discipline strength obviously i want intellect i want intellect well yeah, it's actually quite fun doing this as well to be honest i mean i have uh well, I've, I've spent so many of these glass needles leveling up, uh, look at that, 106, intellect strength, so that's a lot higher. But then again, you do need 108 to be tier 12 compact, so I'm going to aim for that. But yeah, I've spent a lot of these glass needles and glimmer and armor materials doing this very thing. And a lot of my actual armors, there we go, we've got 104, we don't want that. And I will keep going, I'll just keep going until I get a better stat roll. And as you can see, people, I've just rolled this right here, which is 109. Um, so yeah, that's tier 12 compact right there. And I'm going to keep that, to be honest, because I don't really want to waste any more of my glass needles just in case I find, well, find any more exotics I find useful and I do want to get that tier 12 compact armor. So yeah, I used about 11 glass needles there. Not much at all. Was it even 11? 10? I don't know. It's one or the other, but yeah. 
So yes, definitely worth your time investing in some glass needles, especially if you do rock exotics and do want to get that tier 12 compat armor. So yes guys, but that is it for another Zer video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do smash that like button. I do appreciate the support. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, make sure you subscribe. If you never want to miss a video of mine, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. But as always guys, I appreciate you stopping by and I will see you on that next one.